Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play a Jade Empire. Right. That's some crappy attendance out the way. Let's go and do this. Sneaky zoo. You approach the soul extractor. The assassins want you to create a spirit shard to crush a life to power a golem puppet. They are very efficient in their brutality now. It wasn't always like this. Fear used to be the primary tactic. Destroy the family of one to ensure the loyalty of all. It caused chaos, uprisings, close allies turning on each other. Those inclined to betrayal fear it the most. Imagine if you could corrupt the machine and return the chaos of disloyalty the Emperor dreads. Hmm. <laughs> Can I ruin their plans and get what I need? No matter your motives, helping the assassins harms you. If you corrupt the spirit shard, you can move forward while also crippling their golems. They seek control. There used to be a chance to disobey when the order given was too harsh. The victim's pointlessly innocent. Now there is only obedience. There is something chaotic enough to disrupt that. In the elevator room to come, descend to the deepest mine, to the oldest graves. Well, what thing will disrupt them? What do you mean, Zoo? Just go. The thieves await you. Remember, the deepest mines. They are closed now for being too... troublesome. That is where you will find what you need. You must be Master Gong's latest acolyte. I heard there might be a new recruit, but they typically aren't ready for service so quickly. Stripping a will can take time. But Master Gong is known for being generous to those who please him. You must be quite exceptional to be allowed into service so directly. <laughs> but of course. What is this place? This device is the Soul Extractor. It has a loftier name, but we are here to glorify Emperor Sun through Death's hand, not pay tribute to some distant celestial lord. It is mounted on an elevator that reaches deep into the necropolis. Until recently, we excavated bodies to extract spirits that lingered near their graves. The results were... unpredictable. Now we use slaves. Freshly killed spirits make the best golems. The more painful the death, the better. The extractor is not gentle. If this really is the Emperor's bidding, he is a true villain. He is. This machine looks dangerous. Have accidents claimed many any lives? The soul extractor certainly kills whatever is placed within it, but little is left of the victim, so you cannot prove they did not belong there. Only a spirit shard remains. The golem press is far more dangerous, but I have nothing to do with that ungainly device. I prefer the elegance of ripping slaves apart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a little idea. I want to ask some questions. What kind of questions? You know, ones of the asking kind. Hmm. I want to ask about the extracting spirit shards. If you must. It is a simple machine to operate. I'm sure you will come to enjoy the subtle joys of it. Yes, because I'm sick in the head. Do corpses still have souls to extract? Spirits that die in trauma can linger near their mortal form. The Empire is soaked in blood. Many restless dead haunt the necropolis. But slaves produce a better result. You store slaves here? Only on the prison level. Many of the mines are impassable. The graves were never intended to be stable during excavation. Several have collapsed. Much of the surrounding ground is weak. We do not march too many golems at once. 
Even that might shake something loose. How does the extractor function? Slaves are placed in the extractor, and the extraction fluid produces exquisite agony. Focused by this pain, the soul is forced to crystallize into a spirit shard. That shard is implanted in a golem, infusing it with the energy of the deceased soul. Your task is the creation of a new shard for a jade golem. Do not delay. Who made the extractor? Death's hand placed the machine here. It is said the Emperor himself brought pieces of some great celestial furnace back from the heavens. I do not fully understand how it functions, but I am not meant to. I obey, and that is enough. Okay, let's go back. What kind of questions? I must make a spirit shard of the Jay Golem. Then you should select a suitable victim for the procedure. I would recommend one of the slaves on the prison level. Yes, I bet you would. Selecting from elsewhere could bring unfortunate results. And I would not wish to see you disgraced so early in your time with us. <laughs> Why do I not believe you? Use the lever to select a floor, and this platform will move there. You are free to go where you wish, but I would avoid the lower mines. They are restless. Exactly where I want to go. So you believe they are dangerous? The older tombs have spirits that have festered in their hatred for ages. They are not easily controlled. That is why we use slaves to power the golems now. As well, the mines are simply not stable. Tombs can collapse, so we take care not to move too many golems at once, to avoid shaking the foundations of the fortress. Alright. Goodbye. You should get on with your work. Grand Inquisitor Gia is growing impatient for the Jade Golem to be completed. Select a suitable victim and create a spirit shard. I'll tell her to go read a book or something. There are three service levels accessible. Don't try this after you think. Come on, Sky, we're doing this for a reason. Hi. Who are you? Some new acolyte? I've seen a lot of your kind. I watch over the slaves you deliver to the extractor. The inevitability of their deaths is amusing. Haven't even earned your markings yet, I see. Master Gong must be getting weak to allow you such freedom already. Oh, maybe she just likes me pretty. <laughs> I can't allow these slaves to remain here. You tread dangerous ground, Acolyte. Unless you plan to speed their processing in the extractor, you risk being punished for your impudence. Release them. I demand it. They are not animals for you to imprison. You demand it? Mm-hmm. You are clearly not here as an acolyte. If you want to die for these scrawny dogs, so be it. You will die for them. You have... You have given us a chance. Please let us out. We are free, if only for a little while. There are sure to be other guards. Thank you for what you have done. But I'm not sure where to go now. The mine. The smaller one. Remember? Before they stopped digging out the graves, there was light from the surface coming in. I heard someone got away once. I don't know if they made it out of the necropolis, but it is a chance. I'll move the guard when I'm done with the extractor. Thank you. I don't think we would have a chance without you. It's all right. You'll get out of here. What do you want? <laughs> I'm freeing the slaves. I killed the guard. They will be free of your cages. What? Have you lost your mind? Well, you're about to lose your life as well. This is unforgivable, Acolyte. That's a shame you lose your head.
Thank you again for your help. We await your signal that it is safe to make our way to the mine. It is our only hope. The god is dead. Go now, you're free. Thank you. I did not expect to find a kind soul in this place. Alrighty. Leave it there for now. When I return, I think we'll take Zeus' advice and go down to the low abandoned mine. Stay with me.